Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to the airport bright and early on Wednesday morning, and I have a work trip to take today in 15152. We're heading out uh, from Fairmont to Beckley to drop off a piece of radio broadcast equipment for something that has failed down there. And so I thought this would be a good time for a nice solo cross country, about an hour long flight to talk about my best tips for uh, cross country flight planning and uh, how to best manage your time. So come along. Cherokee 15152 is taking runway 23. We'll be making a straight out departure uh, to the southwest Fairmont traffic. Approaching right. runway 2, we are Enter clear runway two to three. the left. 1,100 feet remaining. Clear to the right. No one on final. All right, fuel pumps on. Mixture's going rich. Prop is full forward. Heels to the floor and lots of right rudder. Engine's in the green. Good power, airspeed is alive. There's 65. Fairmont traffic, Cherokee 15152, off runway 23, climbing through 1800, departing the area southwest bound. Fairmont traffic. Clarksburg approach. Good morning, Cherokee 15152, VFR request. Cherokee 15152, Clarksburg approach. Cherry request. 15152 is a uh, P-28 Bravo slant golf uh, just off Fairmont Airport, uh, 2300. We like a VFR flight following at 6500 to Beckley. Cherokee 15152, Squawk 7474. 7474 for Cherokee 152. Cherokee 15152, radar contact to south of Fairmont Airport. Show you leaving 2700, Clarksburg, go timber 3039. 3039 position altitude checks for Cherokee 152. All right, good morning, everybody. Glad to be in the sky today. I love when work and flying can coincide, and today is a perfect example of that. Uh, it's a beautiful morning. Uh, weather is absolutely perfect for this uh, short 50-minute-ish uh, flight to uh, the Beckley Airport, a place I have not been. So I'm very excited to be heading there. And um, yeah, so we are going to uh, have a good time today. Looking forward to um, working through my workflow here for a cross-country flight. One of the first things, I mean, one of my first tips uh, for cross-country uh, flying, especially solo, would be what you just heard during that takeoff sequence, which is utilizing all available uh, ATC services. And by that I mean, I'm a big believer in filing uh, flight plans, VFR flight plans, which I did. I opened it on my iPhone. And then always, always using VFR flight following when those services are available. It's always a great idea to have someone else um, kind of watching out for you, uh, traffic advisory. So my first tip would be utilize all available ATC services. Secondly, I would say utilizing uh, the tools, the navigation tools that you have available, that includes ForeFlight. Uh, for me, I use ForeFlight for just about everything, uh, but additionally, using GPSs that you have available, using heading bugs as reminders of your headings and your altitudes, um, using the tools you have available. The less you need to think about uh, and can focus on flying the airplane and keeping your eyes outside looking for other traffic, especially when you're by yourself, is a huge win. So we're already for 2,000 feet to our uh, to our cruise altitude of 6,500 already. We've nosed down, as you can tell. Uh, you may not be able to see that on this camera, but originally this airplane we pitched for VX leaving Fairmont because of the obstacles, so that's 90 miles an hour, and then I accelerated to VY, which is 100, and then when I'm above about 3,000 feet or so, I like to put the nose over even further to like a cruise climb of like 110, because that'll let me see over the nose better, uh, but also for cooling uh, on the engine. And it also helps our forward speed, so we uh, will arrive at our destination uh, a little bit faster. 
Clarksburg Airport. November Gulf Tanks, you can remain on this. Off our left. So we'll, we'll, we'll be looking for a power setting here at 6,500 feet. Uh, if you can see our power set table, I'm going to use 65% power at 6,500 feet. So that would be something like uh, 21 inches at 2,200 RPM. Something like that. 21 inches at 2,200 RPM. So maybe we'll try that. And we'll start leveling off here. And we'll start configuring for cruise. So 21 inches. And about 2,200 RPM or so. All right, so power set, propeller set, mixture. We'll, we'll, we'll work on leaning here in just a minute once we get established here and, uh, and straight and level and everything's good. Landing light can go off. Fuel pump can go ahead and come off. We'll keep an eye on the fuel pressure. It's good. Still on our left main tank. November 15152, contact Charleston approach on 119.2. Good day. 19.2 for Cherokee 15152. So long. Charleston approach, Cherokee 15152, 6500. 15152, Charleston approach, Charleston altimeter 3037. Let me know once you pick up the weather nodes if I quit. 37 and we'll uh, let you know on the weather for 152. hearing nothing from 2155. Four minutes ago it was variable at three, clear below 2000. That was four minutes ago. Yeah, so that's good. We'll keep listening obviously, but I also want to monitor their uh, CTAF while we're even out here because I need to hear what other folks are using, especially with the variable winds like uh, I want, to, I want to be a team player there. We'll start monitoring it now, although we're, we're still, you know, plenty far out. All right, let's be thinking ahead here about Beckley. Elevation's 2,500 feet, so pattern altitude will be 3,500. I haven't seen or heard anybody there. Um, if there's nobody there and the winds are still variable at three, my preferred uh, runway would be a straight end for one nine. If that's the case. Let's look up and see if Beckley's, uh, if they have an ILS for, yeah, they do, runway one nine. One eleven seven. Uh, We'll pre-populate that in NAV2. You may be able to see from the underwing camera now, Summersville Lake and the strip there at the little, uh, right on the hilltop there, kind of in between the curve of the lake. It's supposedly a really cool, air, uh, really cool approach to fly in. I would like to do that someday. I think that would be fun to come down here to Summersville Lake and maybe a good summertime activity for a Saturday or something. Or zero, zero, 5 so it's runway 19. Approach Cherokee 152 has the weather at Beckley. Cherokee 152, Roger, thank you, sir. Uh, and change my frequency 125.4254. Four. 152 up with your 125.4. Cherokee 152, Roger, thank you. All right, so we're going to be a straight in one niner. Uh, let's go flight plan, procedures, uh, traffic pattern, uh, runway 19 is the best wind straight in, add the route. 
Makes sense to me, friends. All right, let's go ahead and look at our descent checklist. We'll stay on the right main now for the rest of the way to Beckley. There'll be throttles required. Propeller. Airspeed is desired. Mixture will enrich it on the way down. Carb heat as required. Approach, we will set our altimeters, 3042. Fuel selectors on a proper tank. Arrival briefing. We're gonna land runway one niner, and then it's a taxi out and a left-hand turn off. Uh, yeah, so, got a traffic target out in front of me, 4,000 feet below at Beckley. Turning final. Let's, let's see what he does. All right, we should be starting a descent here. Approach uh, Cherokee 152, beginning at DFR, VFR descent. Cherokee uh, 152, Roger, VFR descent, your discretion. Let me know when you have Beckley in sight, please. Full advise, Cherokee 152. All right, slowly enriching as we descend. Field in sight for Cherokee 152. Cherokee 152, Roger, radar service terminated. Change to advisory. Please maintain your squawk on the way into Beckley so I can advise other traffic if it arises. Change, uh, change to advisory frequency. All have a good day. All right, we'll keep the squawk and over to uh, advisory for Cherokee 152. Thanks. Beckley, Raleigh County, Cherokee 152, 11 miles north, descending out of 6,000 uh, for straight in for runway 19 or Beckley. Approach. Fuel selectors on a proper tank before landing. Fuel selectors on a proper tank. Electric fuel pump on. Landing light on. Propellers got to go forward. Seat and seat belts trim. Flaps under 100. Got a guy in the pattern. Beckley, Raleigh County, Cherokee 152, eight miles north, sending out a 4,600, uh, straight in one niner, Beckley. Beckley, Raleigh County traffic, Cherokee 1525, mile final, runway 19, Beckley. Three mile final, runway 1. And uh, 7687 Romeo, are you up, Freak? All right, then I'm going to turn out. I'm going to turn out and uh, overfly the field and join the Traffic, pattern behind him. I'm going to do maybe I'll just do a 360 here. 400 feet above. Roger that.
profile. Unbelievable. And uh, Beckley Raleigh County, Cherokee 152 now, short final, runway 19, I have the traffic on the runway in sight. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, how, how are you just putzing around here in the pattern without being on frequency? Traffic, 12 o'clock, 1 mile, 600 feet below. Seven Romeo, copy back way. Unbelievable. I mean, that is horse. Unicom uh, Cherokee 152, we're unfamiliar. Uh, where's the uh, FBO in the field here? Yeah, just uh, when you can cross over, cross over on Echo and come Echo to Alpha, Alpha to Delta. All right, Echo, Alpha, Alpha, Delta. Thanks for the help. Wow. <laughs> After landing, flaps are up, electric fuel pump is off, mixture we've landed, car peat is off, lights is required, pedo heat, taxi. So that's, um, that was exceptionally dangerous, uh, although it is an uncontrolled field. Um, it's got a guy in the pattern. Um, I don't know that I would have seen him um, without ADSB, but incredibly, incredibly dangerous also slightly infuriating. Thank you, Tommy. Can I get a radio check? Delta 5, Capsule 1, sir. 